Hello everyone, uh, my name is Longa Kwenche and this is my YouTube channel. This is a YouTube t- channel where I post most of assignments. Uh, before we start, I'd like you to subscribe to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button there. You'll be getting a lot of assignment updates every now and then. Uh, just so you know, I'm also available on Instagram. These are some of the UP150 marks you want to look at some of the marks that i have managed to obtain over the past years but this is recent last year semester i also offer module assistance for bpt 1501 this is bpt portfolio mark 100 percent year mark and so on but uh i'm going to show you how to how you can access your study material for it lab so what you need to do is to go to google Google, type my IT lab UNISA, and then once you type your IT lab UNISA, it's gonna lead you to this. This is the right link that you're gonna use for assignments, and then you click there. And then after you click there, it's gonna take you to the IT lab page. So what you need to do here is when you log in, you use your username, which is your student number, and your password is also your student number and then you sign in and then it's going to direct you to the page of where you can actually access your study material but sometimes this does take longer it, it, it loads and then before you sign in it takes like 20 seconds or even more but it's, this is going to pop up when this pops up this is where you get your IT lab assignments for all your IT lab assignments. This is where you get them. And then you click on the blue icon. It's going to highlight there. You just click there. Once you click there, it's going to take you to the assignment tab. It's also going to load just like the first time it, lo- it, was, it was loading. So when you're done there, it's also going to take you to another page. So this page is where you get your assignments you know uh, but for now we're doing assignment two and this is where you're gonna get your assignment two so you you're gonna have uh, the assignment calendar notification but you want assignment calendar so you click there and you click on to do and complete it that's where you're gonna get the assignments for this uh, IT lab assignments and then another page is gonna pop up to do is assignments that you need to do and then completed is for completed once you're done with the IT lab assignments so after that it's gonna take you to the pages of your IT lab assignment it gives you a lot of tabs that you need to navigate to so once that's done it's gonna show you uh, the assignments that need to be done remember it lab assignments it's assignment two four six and seven those are it lab assignments like you see now these are the it lab assignments that you need to do still gonna load i just want to you to see i'm just having network challenges from my side but either way it's gonna load and you're gonna see what needs to be done so this is the to-do, like this is the whole tab, my IT lab 2020 semester one, you know, to-do, they all gonna load, which we want the first assignment, which is second assignment that's due on the 10th of March, but I've been told that due dates have been extended, so you click on start, once you click on start, it's gonna load your assignments, it's gonna give you another tab. <laughs> where you're gonna need to download the assignments that needs to be done so you click on start and once you click on start it's gonna give you another page (laughs) so that you can be able to download your assignments and that's where you can actually access the assignments so what you need to do is click on download materials and then the pop-up is gonna uh, pop that and then what i suggest you to do is download them one by one so that you don't get a zip folder because that's gonna confuse you you're gonna need to extract the documents from the zip folder which is another process on its own 
but i would suggest that you download them i want but as you can see there at the below of the page they are downloaded into my they will be under downloads when you download them you can also do this with your phone and then you click on show folder but with your phone you're gonna need to transport them to your laptop which is time consuming so the document that i want is the one with the student number and which is the one that we're gonna work on for this particular assignment assignment two this is assignment two it lab that's the document you, you need for this one the one with the student number is the one that you're gonna need for your assignment and uh, you, you need to download all those documents because you can't just create your own assignment these are the assignments downloaded and then you click the one with your student number that's the one you open once you've downloaded the one don't create a new one because you're gonna get marked down like uh, the it lab assignments are designed in such a way that only one with your student number don't use your friend's document because they've completed it you're gonna get zero for that so just be warned so now i'm opening the document uh for the it lab assignment which is the document that's on the instruction document the, the you have an instruction document a document that tells you what needs to be done for this particular assignment and it is very important that you follow the instructions and like on the right of the instructions right very far right there's points for each of those so this is the document it's gonna be like this enable editing so you click on enable editing and then you just maximize it so that it can fit your whole screen so now the the document is open so we, we look at the instructions that what needs to be done for this particular assignment so it says we must type why type educational website and then press enter you see there i've typed educational website just making the spelling mistake websites then press enter and then type sturgeon point production is offering website tie-ins with every educational video in our catalog you also need to type that just uh, when you type these things you must make always make sure that the spelling is correct because should you make a spelling mistake you will also be marked down on that with that spelling mistake so every time you type these things the spelling must be on point like it must be the way it is on the instruction so after you type that it says after the period you press press space bar so i'm still typing and then after that i'm gonna press space bar and then I'm typing everything no catalog at no additional cost this is the whole text at, at, at no additional cost and then follow the next instruction which is space bar and then after that it says we must insert once you're done typing that it says we must insert something which is insert text from grader file so you look for the insert on the page and then you find insert is right there at the top you just need to navigate around these things like the drop down arrows and it's gonna give you which one you need and for this particular assignment it says insert text grader so as you can see i'm navigating through these things and um, i'm gonna show you which one you need it's the one which says insert the text grader file which is uh this one text from file so you click on that and once you click on that it's gonna take you to the documents where you downloaded your it lab assignments which is it's there 
so this is the one education this is the document you enter and then that's gonna pop up and when when that pops up it says on uh, instruction three we must change the line spacing so to change the line spacing for the whole document to 1.5 is that we're gonna highlight the whole document highlight it and once the document has been highlighted you go to home and then you change the line spacing there to 1.5 as the instruction says so we just click on 1.45 and the spacing you just click there to change the line spacing after and then it says we must change it there's the line spacing 1.5 and then after is eight points we must change it to six and then once you're done with that you're gonna click on okay because you're done with that instruction six after 1.5 line spacing then click on ok and then the next instructions to each of the four paragraphs to that begin stage and point you see those stage and point as educators like just follow my arrow and then the other one is when submitting the other one is the video so you just to put the the, the line spacing to 0 0.5 you just hit the tab key like in front of those things the the sentence is the paragraph tab key and then the tab key for that it's, it's 0 0.5 and then you're done with number three so we are now on number five because number three is done number five it says we must change the font size so once we're done we go to the top of the page this is the font size the title and then to change the font size you must click there and then you don't see 50 when you don't see the 50 you must type it it's gonna change to the 50 and then you are done with that instruction and then you change the title line spacing to 1.0 so you go back to line spacing and then you type you press on 1.0 and then you center the title from the text effect you just center it and then the next instruction says from the text effects and typographic gallery once you've done centering that you go to the to that option it's going to give you the the effects and then apply the fill blue accent one shadow effect fill just navigate around this and then it's gonna give you all the ones that but for this particular assignment it's blue accent one shadow to the title and then you click on that <sighs> and then the neck we're done with point four of the instruction step four and then uh step five says at the beginning of the paragraph below the title that's the next step we click there it says insert the picture downloaded with grader file so you click there and then you go to insert and then insert picture and then the picture that you need is the one with media that's the one and then click insert for that and then it's gonna pop up that's the picture that you need and then it says you must change the picture height to two that's where you change that you just minimize it and make it two and then ch change the picture height to two and then that's two yes that's two and the layout options this is where you find the layout option you must always follow the mouse it's going to direct you to what you need layout options to square that square you see the word square there and then from the picture with the format like the next step now is to format the picture you've changed the layout you go to for picture picture format picture effects and then you just click on the drop down soft edges you see you must always follow the mouse and then it's gonna give you soft edges and the layout option 
that's the one we need 10 point soft edges effect and then we are done with step five so we move to the next step uh it says we use push change the position you click there to change the layout position it says we must change it to horizontal alignment is relative that's the alignment alignment relative uh, right relative it's left now you click right relative to margin and then we change the one for vertical vertical top there's the vertical vertical top relative to the line that's what it says must be top to the line okay and then we click ok and then the next step it says select the five paragraphs beginning with historic interactive timelines which is at the bottom of the page so we're gonna need to go to that right now and then those are the paragraphs just highlight them and then apply the check mark bullets so you go back to your home tab and then click on the drop down arrow and that's the check mark bullets and then you are done and then the next step step six is done after you do those bullets and then step number seven it says select the five uh okay that was step number seven the one with the bullets and then step eight it says locate the paragraph and then press enter you see where is it and then type the title in which you are interested which is we are on step eight now and interested and then type enter the name of the class and subject the name of the class and subject. you must always make sure the spelling is correct or you're gonna get marked down on this if the spelling is not correct and subject and then online tools you would like to see created online tools which you would like to see created and then for step eight those are the only instructions that you need oh okay and then this other instruction is that you select all the three paragraphs numbered left to zero ensure that the special settings is hanging to 0 0.25 so you highlight them and then you change oh, okay you put the numbered list i almost forgot that option there is the numbered list for 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 this you put them in a numbered list after you have typed them and then it says set the intonation you click there hanging 0 0.25 ensure set to 0 0.25 as you can see there it's special hanging 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 and then we are done with step eight so the next step is with the insertion point located at the numbered list uh just click there and then it says insert a basic chevron process smart art so you go to insert that's where it go to insert smart art and you go to processes and you go for the basic chevron that's the one and then you click ok and then you've inserted that and then uh it says we must type type the word the type in the first block act a view you must always make sure the spelling is correct and then the second is interact and the third one is SS SS and then you are done and then select the outside border of the smart art that's the outside border and then change the smart art color to X and colors four to five so you go to the top of the page right around smart design and then you change the colors and you look for four to five that's the one you click on it and then 
you click on it and then it says apply the 3d flat scene so you're gonna go to smart styles click on the drop down arrow and then apply the 3d you're gonna look for it in 3d flat style and then you just need to browse on all of these in in order to get the correct one uh, flat c style and then that's it and then the next step is step 10 which is we must change the height of the smart art so we go to format size and then we change the height to one the height is changed to one yes and then the width is 6.5 just change it there but you can also type this manually instead of using the up and down arrows to increase and decrease and then once we're done with the smart chart is that we need to align it so to align it you click there and then option square yes and then the alignment just gonna need to click on a layout option there once again layout see more and it says horizontal the alignment is horizontal it is centered relative to page and then after that you click on vertical vertical is alignment bottom relative to margin and then you click on okay you done with steps 10 so the next point is number 11 those are the days those are what the, they are referring to select the days and times so you just need to highlight that just make sure it's highlighted and then you go to the paragraphs and then you go to tabs now you're gonna have to set the dot leader right and then you type six and then you set it to two and then you click on set and then you click on six and then you click on okay and then they that's set the dot leader at six is set so now we go to uh, option 12 option 11 is done so we go to option 12 click the blank line below the tab list tab list and then insert uh, that here's like you see there you, you're gonna insert the the online video there is just a insert we're gonna go to insert and then insert online video and then just you need data to have this because if you click on insert and your data is not on or your wi-fi it's not gonna pick up and then you're gonna type pearson higher education learning higher education learning and then insert the video that displays okay you're gonna see a lot of videos but the first one that you need is the very first one click there and then you click insert okay that's inserted and then in first change the video height so we go to there and then we change the height to 1.5 it's only the height see i'm changing the height and then we are done with number 12. so the next point is 13 it says below the video just deselect the video after you're done and then below it it says insert a rounded rectangle shape so you go to insert for this you go to insert and shapes round rectangle rounded rectangle and then you draw it you draw it that's the one and then you click on the shape height i mean you change the shape height with the given instruction you change it the shape height once you're done you change it to 1.5 
uh, 1.5 and then shape width to 6.5 6.5 and then once you're done it says display the shape gallery display the shape style gallery so you're gonna click down on the drop down menu on styles no, no click on this is the one styles and then you click on the one and then apply subtle effect blue x and one so you're gonna scroll down on all of these and then the one you're looking is with blue accent one and then you click on that and then blue accent one that's the one you had to apply which is under the blue accent one you see it that's the style you need and then you're done with number 13 so we move to 14 it says use the position command to display the layout dialog box so number 16 number 16 uh no number 14 rather sorry about that i was just making sure that this is the right accent one for this one. so number uh it says use the position command to display the dialog layout box so we go there and then we change the position horizontal alignment that I, you go to see more after that the, the you click and clicking the layout options I need to go to see more and then you change both the horizontal alignment centered relative centered relative to to the margin and then change the position that both the horizontal and centered relative to the margin also yes and then you click ok you see it changes and then in the rectangle box you just click on it and then you type sturgeon point production remember what i said about typing these things correctly because you should type it in correctly you're gonna get marked down and then press enter and then type partnering with educators to produce with educators to produce rich media content produce rich media content and then change the font size to 16 after you've done typing this you're gonna need to change the font size to 16 so what you need to do is highlight the text that you've typed and then go home and then change it to 16 so now we're done with point 14 we move to 15 it says use the okay no 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 point 15 chain move to the top uh, okay point 15 says move to the top of the document so we're doing point 15 right now okay we're gonna need to move to the top of the document that's it and then uh, just click on, on on top of it make sure the point is there the cursor and then just make sure it's there so that we can insert the text box for this particular uh, point which is point 16 go to insert and then text box you draw the text box and then you just with the text box change the height to 0 0.5 and then the width to 3.7 3.7 always follow the instructions guys because those will, will get you marks 3.7 and then you type so sturgeon point production and just type sturgeon 
point production you know reading and doing these things is not easy by the way stage and point production and productions and then change the font to 22 highlight that and then click on home and then you change the font to 22 you change it to 22 and then you are done with point 15 oh you center the text yeah you need to center the text and then you do number 16 it says it says use the position command to display the layout dialog box that's point 16 and then we do that and then we click on and then position the text to see more it says horizontal alignment is centered is centered relative relative to page and the vertical is absolute 0 0.5 you can do that manually 0 0.5 relative below page and then you are done with point 16 click ok and then it says you must change point 17 says change the text box shape fill so click on the text box that we have created and then you go to shape format change the fill shape fill here's the shape fill accent 5 lighter 80 percent just scroll around these things and then it's gonna give you which ones to select and then change the shape outline shape outline same color blue accent lighter 50 80 percent and then once you're done it says you must deselect the text box yes yeah, so you just click anywhere and then apply a box setting border and choose the first style we are now on point 18 this is a long exercise so you click there and then border and shading you click on page border and then you click on box and then you see the first color you look for the color accent 5 and then you click ok here's the border you've got the border so now it says the last uh, uh, point which is number 19 it says you must change the margin so you go to layout and you write custom margins and then you change the margins to top 1.25 you must change the, that one to 1.25 and then you know it must be 1.25 just make sure you type this thing correctly or just type it one two five and then you click on okay and then the last thing to do is you insert a food file the file name you go to footer edit footer and then once you edit footer you go to documents info Here's the file name, and then you click insert, and then you are done. This is 100%, no lie. Like, if you follow all the instructions that I've told you in the video, your document must look exactly the same way that you see it here on the video. Like, I'm, I'm sc scrolling up and down, just showing you what it should look like. This is how it should look like. And then once you're done, you save the document. You save and then that's where you're going to submit. You just click start. And then you follow the same procedure that you did to download your content. That's where you're going to need to submit your assignment one. And then after that, you're more likely to get 100% for this assignment and yes we are done see you on the next assignment uh i'll be giving you out my module list and my contact details i'm am available on 081-328-2268 but on the video 
caption you will see all my contact details okay